sharpen tool in Photoshop. You can use the sharpen tool under this. Below the the blur tool, you can find the sharpen tool. Activate that by left click. Right click on this and choose the sharpen tool. But first, we have to create a new layer. Click on this to create a new layer. It is the best practice that we separate the sharpen part of this image in another layer. So let's say we have to adjust that you can do in the another in the other layer instead of the original image below it. So let's start sharp select the layer and start sharpening on this image. For this image, I want to sharpen this blurry part here, also some part here. And the set settings of the sharpen by default is a softened brush and a normal of blending mode with a strength of 100. You can reduce the strength. Let's say you want only 50% of this part of this image to be sharpened. Sample, sample all layer. You should check the sample all layer if you are working with multi layers and you want to sample all layers on that uh, in the workspace. So let's start uh, sharpening this image. Just click and brush over it. If your computer or unit is uh, has a low spec, it will take time to render the sharp the sharpness of this image. But for me, I have to brush this again. So for this part, I want to sh sharpen this one. So we are going to wait for it to render. So I will brush on this, sharpen through the use of sharpen tool. As you can see, we sharpen the image uh, roughly, but we can use the, we can adjust this by using the mask, click on this, and to remove this uh, sharp sharpness, make sure you choose the black, and click on the brush, and brush on this, because the black conceals what we sharpen here. So, say I'm going to brush this. And I will return to sharpen again. Use the sharpen tool. Right click and select the sharpen. When you use mask, uh, the black uh, conceals and the white reveals on the part of the we are using the mask. So sharpen this. Sometimes it will take time to render the sharpness of this part because if you have a low spec computer, it will take time to render the sharpness. So we are going to wait for that. Let's say I want to reduce the strength into... As you can see, this is the before and this is the, up, the after the sharpened part. As you can see, I sharpened this area. Let's say I want to sharpen this also and this part so i want to sharpen this part so as you can see this is the before and the after you can also reduce the strength let's say 50 percent also you can right click and adjust the sharpen tool the brush of the sharpen tool into different shapes let's say we have different shapes here like this, this one so you can use this right click and change the sharpen shape. So I will choose this. I will reduce to 50% and I will sharpen this part also. Also you can adjust by right click the size of the hard or the hardness and the size of the sharpen tool. You can also find it here. And you can click on this to show the preset of the of the tool you can also use this scattering if you want to scatter the the this uh, tool sharpen tool also you can create shape dynamics and there's a different option here you can try so that's basically basically the use of sharpen tool is you can also click the closing bracket to make the sharpen tool bigger and opening bracket to make it smaller
same as the brush so let's brush on this so also here Let's see the before this is the before and the after so that's a sharpen tool in photoshop the basic of or the purpose the use of sharpen tool in photoshop so i hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching